In this question we have to decide what happens to the electric field and to the capacitance when the plates of a capacitor are moved farther apart. Let's look at the magnitude of the electric field first. To do this we will use this equation from subtopic 5.1 where E is electric field, F is force and Q is charge. We will combine it with this equation also from subtopic 5.1 where F is force K is the Coulomb constant, Q1 and Q2 are the charges between which the force is exerted, and R is the distance between the charges. Since in the first equation we see that the force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance, and in the second equation we see that E is directly proportional to F, we can conclude that E, the electric field, is inversely proportional to the square of the distance. In other words, as the distance between the plates is increased, the magnitude of the electric field between them decreases. Even without using the equations, this intuitively makes sense. Let's now examine the capacitance using this equation from subtopic 11.3, where C is capacitance, epsilon is the permittivity of the material separating the plates, a is the overlapping area of the plates, and D is the distance between the plates. From this equation, we can clearly see that capacitance is inversely proportional to the distance between the plates. This means that as distance between the plates increases, capacitance decreases. Therefore, the answer to this question is D.